Hello everyone. It gives us immense pleasure in sharing our journey towards Silla DB during the Silla Summit 2021. As part of the presentation, we'll take you all through who we are, what we do, why we chose Silla DB, and finally the outcome. I'm Singa. I'll be joined by Dilip, co-presenter for this talk. We are both passionate database engineers at Expedia Group, working with multiple NoSQL technologies and strive to align use cases that makes the best out of the underlying data store. Expedia Group Inc. is one of the world's largest travel platforms. At Expedia Group, our mission is to bring the world within reach. We firmly believe that travel has the power to change lives. We do that through the power of our brands. All right. Let's get into the nitty gritty of why we picked SillaDB and how it helped our developer journey. Currently at EG, there are multiple applications built on top of Apache Cassandra, which comes with its own set of challenges. We will be going through some of them throughout this deck. Apache Cassandra, written in Java, brings in the onus of managing garbage collection and making sure it's appropriately tuned for the workload in hand. Though garbage collection is tunable, it takes significant amount of time and effort as well as expertise required to handle, tune, GC pause for every specific use case. With burst traffic or sudden peak in the workload, there is significant disturbance to the P99 response time. So we end up adding buffer nodes to handle this peak capacity, which results in more infrastructure costs. Another significant worry is Based on the past four years history, the number of Apache Cassandra releases has significantly slowed down. We would like to compare the open source commits in Cassandra versus Scylla DB in a timeline chart here and highlight the amount of releases that Scylla has gone through the same past three year period. As you can see, it gives enough confidence towards Scylla that given an issue or bug with a specific release, it will be soon addressed with a patch. In contrast, with Apache Cassandra, one might have to wait a uh, longer. So, why did we end up with SillaDB? From an Apache Cassandra code base, it's frictionless for developers to switch over to SillaDB. For the use cases that we tried, there wasn't any data model changes necessary, and the SillaDB driver was entirely compatible and a swap-in replacement with Cassandra driver dependency. With a few tweaks to our automation framework that provisions Apache Cassandra cluster, we were able to provision SillaDB open source cluster. Thanks to the C++ backend of SillaDB, we no longer have to worry about the stop the world GC pauses. Also, we were able to store more data per node and achieve more throughput per node, thereby saving significant dollar for the company. Clear roadmap and support from SillaDB Slack community comes in very handy. The candidate application chosen for this POC is our geo system that provides information about geographical entities and the relationships between them. It aggregates data from multiple systems like hotel location info, third party data, etc. This rich geography dataset enables different type of data searches using a simple REST API while guaranteeing single digit millisecond P99 read response time. To speed up API responses, we are using multi-layered cache with Redis as the first layer and Cassandra as the second layer. With this experiment, we will be replacing SillaDB as a swap-in replacement for Cassandra. With that being said, I'm handing it over to Dilip for going over the infrastructure setup, benchmark results, and next steps. Thanks. Thank you, Singa. We used this configuration to set up our first ever Scylla cluster in production. Our current Apache Cassandra cluster is running with 24 nodes and holding 25 terabytes of data. We are using i3EN 2XL instances for this cluster and we are using Cassandra 3.0.9. To begin with, we set up a 24 node Scylla cluster but with i3 2XL instances. Our idea is to test if lower capacity Scylla cluster can match performance of our existing Cassandra cluster or not. For this use case, we have selected open source Scylla 4.1.4. We didn't face any major challenges while migrating from Cassandra to Scylla. We are not using any fancy features like secondary indexes, materialized views, and lightweight transactions, 
So we kept our data model as is and application drivers as is while migrating from Cassandra to Scylla. This is a performance comparison of Apache Cassandra versus Scylla. As is shown in the first picture, write latency is flat and negligible for both Cassandra and Scylla. But the real winner here is P99 read latency for Scylla, which is consistently around 5 milliseconds throughout the day. As shown in the first picture, Cassandra's latency is spiky in nature and it varies from 20 to 80 milliseconds throughout the day depending on the traffic pattern. As shown in the second picture, Scylla was also able to deliver throughput close to 3x compared with Apache Cassandra. So for applications that required high throughput and single digit read latency, Scylla is recommended over Apache Cassandra. To summarize benchmark results, by migrating from Cassandra to Scylla, we got 3x throughput, our P99 read latency was around 5 milliseconds, and we have got 35% savings in our infrastructure cost. Huge shout out to my automation team who made this possible. We developed an automation framework called Cerebro to manage all NoSQL data stores. We are using this product to manage seven NoSQL data stores across 2,400 nodes in multiple AWS accounts. Our goal is to save time on managing infrastructure and database maintenance activities. All the features of this product are highlighted here. With a single click, we can provision any NoSQL cluster in less than 15 minutes. All we have to do is select cluster size and instance type. All the clusters are fully managed and secure. We will disable all the default users that comes with each data store and set up unique credentials to manage every cluster. All the clusters are encrypted at the storage as well as transportation layer. Every cluster will have unique URL for monitoring performance metrics and integrated with the pager duty for alerting purpose. We are using Datadog, Grafana and Prometheus for monitoring but this product can also integrate with any other monitoring tools like New Relic or DinoTrace. We have incorporated self-healing and fast scaling practices into this product and we are using this product not only for initial cluster setup but also for scale out and scale in operations. We have developed an UI for managing day-to-day -day maintenance activities. Using this UI, we can schedule backups, repairs, OS patching or any other database patching activities. This product also support multi-region deployments as well. These are some of our additional observations while working with Scylla. Unlike any other NoSQL data store, Scylla doesn't have its own dedicated log file. Instead, it writes all errors and warnings to system log, which we felt is a little inconvenience. In Scylla, change data capture is implemented as a SQL table, so we can track all the DB changes in more consistent way. Cluster scale out and scale in operations are resumable in Scylla. So, depending on the workload of the cluster, we can pause and restart all the new node addition or decommission operations. Scylla system key space holds a lot of metadata tables which are helpful in troubleshooting performance related issues, especially if you are using open source Scylla. This is our roadmap for Scylla for next one year. Currently, this Geo application uses Redis as L1 cache. Now that Scylla demonstrated that it can give a single digit read latency, we want to completely turn off this L1 cache and use Scylla DB directly. We also learned that Scylla started supporting Redis APIs. Once all APIs are supported by Scylla, we want to evaluate Scylla as a replacement to Redis if dataset is more than terabyte. We are very excited in testing Scylla Alternator as a replacement to DynamoDB also. If you are interested in what you heard and if you want to join our team in building more products like this, we are hiring. You can refer our EG Career site for more details. We would like to thank you, Scylla team, for giving us this opportunity to present our use case at Scylla Summit.